with, without. All right, the sun's about to come up. I've only had four hours of sleep and I've got terrible wrinkles under my eyes. How can we make me look good using no soft boxes and very little money? That's what this video is about. And I'm gonna show you all kinds of ways of doing it indoors and outdoors. In the last video, I showed you how to make a face look very smooth, glam lighting. And the general idea of any kind of glam lighting is to have light hit you from all sides as much as possible to knock out shadows. Of course, using soft boxes is the best way to do that. And in the last video, I used a whole bunch of soft boxes, but that's not realistic for most people. So I'm going to show you ways that are more realistic for most people. You don't even need soft boxes for it to do. So let's start off this video using nothing but flashlights. Right now, that's all I'm using is just three flashlights. One here, one here, and one kind of over the camera there. And I have a reflector down here bouncing a little bit of light from below, which is just tin foil attached to some cardboard. So this is the first one. It's pretty basic. It's not super soft lighting, but it's a start. So you can even use a couple of flashlights. <laughs> okay, it doesn't get more basic than this. Right now I'm using this, a clamp light from Home Depot, which only costs seven bucks with a basic light bulb in it. Right now I'm using a 100 watt uh, equivalent. Six only uses 16 watts because it's LED um, by Philips. Anyway, this is just a basic clamp light that only costs $7 with a normal old school light bulb in it. Standard size light bulb. That's what we're starting with. This is something I think that almost anybody can afford. So, Right now I've got one on this side of my face, one on this side of my face, and a third one coming from below. This is as basic as it gets. There's no soft lighting here. This is just hard light right on my face, but this side is knocking out the shadow from this side. I use these lights for 10 years. That's all I use to light my videos. I've used these things so much, I'm gonna make a video just about these because it's just the most versatile, cheap way of starting on your photography journey of lighting. And yeah, you can laugh at this, but I did it and it works. So again, the basic rule is the more light you have hitting your face from as many angles as possible, the softer the light is. Right now, I've only got two lights, one on each side and one from below. I'm gonna add a couple more lights from different angles. So that just soften the light even more. Okay, so now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven clamp lights. Seven times seven is what? 50 bucks? I've got light all around me for 50 bucks. It's amazing. And the birds are waking up. So uh, yeah, look at this. I mean, this is not soft light. It's just a bunch of little lights that are lighting me up from many different directions. So the more lights you have hitting you from different directions, the more uh, smoother, softer light you have, the less ugly you look. So this light, because it's so cheap, you can put them everywhere. I could have one as a hair light lighting up or like a rim on my hair. I'll do one right now. There, so now I have a light right here lighting up the edge of my hair. So now I have a, a rim light, a hair light. It can keep going. I put one on this side or I can here, put it on this side here. There, and now I have a nice hair light on this side. I'm still like, what, 60 bucks? I mean, it's, it's amazing how cheap this is. Just normal light bulbs. Of course, you have to white balance and make sure you get, you know, the same color light bulb. No flicker, no hum. And they're dimmable. So you can actually dim these. You can actually adjust each one separately if you want to do that. This is a good start. So let's do some more. All right, this is really good soft lighting done with minimal amount of lighting. I just have one clamp light on each side with just a basic light bulb in each one. And I'm running it through a diffuser on each side. And diffusers are easy to make. They're cheap. These are four by four collapsible ones. Uh, I can put the links down below. You can make your own too. Diffusers are really easy to make. But this is what it looks like when you just have two diffusers with one clamp light on each side. The cheapest lights you can get. And you get a nice soft light. All right, so now I'm using little LED light panels. I like these. These are really, they don't cost much either. So I got one, two, three, four, and one down below. It won't blow over in the wind because it's not a big soft box or anything. And they're easy to set up. They're quick and they don't cost very much. So these are just little eight by eight inch LED panels. And I like these because they're really small. I take them on vacation. They're really flat. They fit in your suitcase. And you can battery power these too. Here's some examples of videos I did using these little lights. Each time I use four of them. No soft boxes, modifiers, or diffusion. This is just straight lights. 
I even used them to do a photo session in St. Lucia. I love these little lights. They're really fast to set up and I love how portable they are. Another thing to keep in mind is always have lighting a little bit above your eye level because it's more natural. If it's below your eye level, it looks weird. Always have your main lights be above your eye level. That's just a nice general rule. This is cool lighting, huh? I like this. This, this lighting is, I like this. This is harsh direct light, but it looks like soft lighting because I've got a number of them and it doesn't cost a lot and that's really cool. So now I'm gonna show you a dozen different ways to get soft lighting indoors and out using no lights at all. All you need is sunlight. Now you don't wanna have the sun directly on your face because that's gonna create harsh shadows and simply turning your back to the sun isn't gonna cut it either because, well, the sky is a big blue softbox and that's good, except most of it is directly above you. So you end up getting this. Yes, the lighting is soft, but you're still getting shadows because most of the light is coming from above, which you don't want. So what you wanna do is be underneath something. So the sky above you is blocked and the only light hitting you is in front of you and to your sides, which is just like having a bunch of soft boxes wrapping around you like I showed in the kitchen. A good place for that is underneath of a tree, or in this case, a port cocher, because that and that are like big picture windows that allow allow light in to light her up. So here's the shady roof. The house is the dark side. And then these three areas where the light comes in that hold up the roof are like three picture windows that give soft lighting from three different sides, just like we had with all the soft lights in the kitchen. So the more she walks into that soft light that's coming from three different sides with nothing from above and a little bit of lights reflecting off the roof of the silver car, notice how awesome lighting is. And it's just great natural lighting. We've done so many pictures from this spot because it's a natural spot for taking amazing pictures. When you're in the shade and you have light coming from basically all around you like picture windows or a bunch of soft boxes all around you, this is the kind of lighting you get. This is just natural lighting, no lights at all. Just an amazing, simple way to light. Look for big picture window lighting is what I call it. So the lighting is really good from this side because it's hitting her from all around. But if you wanted to take a picture from the other side, she would be in shade. Look how dark her face is. So if you wanted to take a picture like this, you'd have to darken so you get the background and then you'd have to have some lights to light her up. So again, if you're gonna do something like this, have a light come from each side. Lights from two different sides, which gives you a really fast way of having smooth lighting without using soft boxes. Of course, nothing beats soft boxes for really nice lighting, but one light on each side is the fastest way to get acceptable lighting. Okay, we're outside. You can see how harsh the light is on her. Put a hand like this. See how hard that shadow is? That's not soft lighting. One of the easiest ways to get soft lighting outside, one of the fastest ways, is simply put some diffusion between the sun and the person. You can use anything. You can use a bed sheet. You can even use plastic tarp. Just basic plastic tarp from Home Depot. You know, double it up if you want it softer. Here's a couple of silks I got online. This is a four feet by six feet. It's like seven bucks. Here's a 20 foot by five foot. This is only like $27. Put the links down below. I'm gonna use a four by four collapsible diffusion. This is uh, by Favitech. These things are cheap. You can get, there's so many ways to get diffusion. So I'm just gonna put some diffusion on here and just put her in shade. There, instant soft lighting. Now the sun's still pretty high up. So she still got some shadows here and here. So you can fill that in with a fill ball, like some foam cord just to fill it in. So now you've got really flat lighting, some bounce light. Look at the difference. Without, with, without, with. You see the difference? Look at, look at that. Just basic plastic. In this case, we're gonna face away from the sun and have a reflector reflecting light onto their face. Now this reflector, I already made a video about this. It's just foam core with some tin foil stuck to it. That's all it is. Foam core and tin foil, anybody can make this. It's totally affordable. So all you gotta do is, and now of course you could have somebody holding a reflector, but most people are on their own. They don't have assistance. They, they can't afford assistance, whatever it is. So you need to have, be able to do this on your own. So what I'm showing you in most of my videos is stuff that you can do on your own. That's why I have it on a light stand. It's just a lot more stud sturdy and stays in place. Okay, so let's light up the subject here. Nice. This is without the uh, reflector, and this is with the reflector. This is without the reflector, and this is with the reflector. 
I did a video in the desert where I was sitting under a tree, so I was completely in shade, and I used a straight reflector. That's all I used, shining right in my face, and it looked great. It was nice lighting, and uh, I really liked the way it turned out. The secret is, I was in the shade of a tree, and all the light hitting me was from the reflector. Just tin foil and foam core. <laughs> Another benefit of having your back to the sun is you have hair light the hair is illuminated around the edges you don't even need extra light to do that the sun's doing it for you so the sun is i'm an angel yeah the sun is <laughs> just kidding <laughs> I mean, you are the sun the sun is supplying the halo and then the reflector is uh, supplying the uh the light on her face now i know a lot of you guys say why don't you shine this through a diffusion okay we'll do that it's a little bit better but you lose a lot of the light when you have diffusion in there there you go. That's nice. Look up a little bit so you get, yeah, like that. The light's much better like that. One of the problems with trying to put a diffuser between the reflector and the person is it's in the line of sight of the camera usually. You see the diffuser. This is straight reflector. I think personally, the fusion's just a waste of time. Just use a straight reflector. If you don't want it as bright, just use pure white, a white card instead of silver, but I like tinfoil. I just like this. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so that was a reflector. Let's move on to the next thing. Okay, so here's another Marcus contraption idea. The idea is to have soft light, big giant soft lights on all around me. Like I'm inside of a white tent and I want it, and I want the sun to come through it. The sun's hitting me in the face right now. I don't want to have it hit this big diffuser that wraps around me on both sides. So what I'm doing, I got a bed sheet here and I got a stand that I made a V out of here. I actually haven't even done this yet. It's just like, you're going to see me doing this for the first time. I haven't even tried it. I just have a feeling I know it's going to work. I'm just going to clamp the bed sheet onto it and then just lift it up. So now I'm inside of a white tent and this is what it looks like. She's in her little selfie booth right now. So she has soft light hitting her from both sides and I think it looks pretty darn good. Your own private selfie booth with made with a bed sheet. Any room for two here? <laughs> room. <laughs> room for two. Hey, don't ruin your lipstick. This is a photo shoot. So it works, my bed sheet contraption works. I knew it would. It's really cool because from eight feet up to all the way to the ground, you've got soft light hitting you from all sides, which means you don't have hard shadows under your chin or your nose or anywhere. You don't even need a bounce card. Look at how soft the light is coming from all directions. This is so cool. The only problem is- It's not very portable. It's not very portable. It's kind of an embarrassing thing to set up. You don't want to be in public with this. People are going to be like, think you're nuts. So I've got something that's a lot more portable that you can just whip out in public somewhere. So let's check that out. Can you say wonder what it is five times fast? Wonder what it is, wonder what it is, wonder, 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 wonder what it is, wonder what it is, wonder what it is, wonder what it is. Papalokaina. I want to be in the show. Anyway, so the gadget that we're going to be using is this. It's, it's not very big. This is all the space it takes up. It is an umbrella. And it's a white photography umbrella. And you're going to be having the sun hit it. So you're going to be diffused. It's going to be a big diffuser that you can hold and walk around with. You can actually use it as a sun umbrella. Act like, you know, I'm just walking around with the sun, you know, sun umbrella. And then you whip out your camera and you do your selfie thing. If you're going to be talking for an extended period of time, I suggest to use a light stand like this. You can set this up, you know, somewhere. This is a lot more portable than, uh, yeah. I guess somewhat more portable than the, uh, much more portable. And the uh, bed sheet sense. thing, yeah. And you can now that all cameras have flip around screens so you can see yourself, it makes it so easy to do this kind of thing. All you just pop open the umbrella. They don't cost much, they're like 14 bucks or something. And you see how portable they are. The light stand collapses to about the same length as this. So you got two really thin things. Doesn't take up much space at all. And the look that you get from this, this is a wonderful uh, soft lighting with just the basic pop open umbrella. I like it because it looks like a fancy umbrella. And it's light and it's portable and it's not as humiliating as 
the homeless looking tent set up he suggested set up. Yeah. People won't question this as much. There's several ways to use this. One is like this, to face the sun and have the light diffuse through the umbrella, or face away from the sun and have this be a reflector. So you can see the difference here, how dark I am with very little reflected light. So look how easy this is to pull out. You just pull this thing out like that. When you're indoors, a good way to get soft lighting is look for a spot where the sun is hitting. Like right there is a bright spot where the sun is hitting. So stand in the light so it's blinding you directly in the light, and then get a diffusion of some kind and put this, there you go, and now it's soft lighting hitting the person. A big window is like a big soft box if you're not getting direct sunlight through it. Sometimes all you have to do is stand facing a large window, that's it. A more portable solution is a 4x4 frame with some diffusion material or a bed sheet or anything that you simply put on a light stand and now it's portable and you can take this anywhere in the house where there's a window or a door or a balcony that has some strong sunlight coming through it. Sometimes you don't need anything at all. There's what I call magic spots. I'm going to make a video just about that where if you move just a little bit this way or this way, all the lighting is just so perfect, you don't have to do anything. Like right now, I just happen to be standing in front of a wall right here, which is reflecting some light. There's a big sky above me up here shining just the perfect amount of light. There's no direct light hitting me. So the lighting is actually pretty good. I'm not doing anything. I just put the camera there and push record and it looks pretty good just by itself. So I'm going to make another video about how to find magic spots in a room or outside or anything like that. And like I said before, the sky is a big softbox. As long as there's no direct light hitting you, there's not a lot of light hitting you from directly above and you're kind of in shade, but you have a big wide open sky area right here. It's like looking through a big picture window at a sky which is lighting up your face, which is happening right now. And I have a little bit of fill light from below from this wall, which gives you nice soft light. So let's get into our next situation here. What if you're an actual photographer and you want to take flash pictures outdoors and you don't have a softbox or it's too windy to use a softbox or even worse you don't want to use a softbox because you don't want to get caught taking pictures in a place you're not supposed to take pictures so you got to work fast using lightweight small things in this case we're going to use just flashes no softboxes and the same principle applies as long as light comes from at least two directions to knock out each other's shadows you'll get a not perfectly smooth soft light but it's good enough for pictures and i've used this for thousands of pictures so i've got a this is these are all ad 200s i've got one ad 200 here a godox 200 a godox 200 right there and one up here as a hair light so she's kind of in the shade that's the first step make sure you're in the shade and uh, then we're just gonna light up the flashes with the flash trigger. Okay. Nice. We're gonna do a second setup here real quick. We got one light here, one light here, and the hair light's right here. So let's try that. Yeah, I like that. Nice. These are great. Wow. Okay, when shooting a video outdoors and your back is towards the sun, we use video lights. So, I mean, again, to get, if you don't have soft boxes, just use the lights. We've got one on each side, knocking out each other's shadows. It's gonna be really bright. You're gonna be squinting, but I mean, I've done it in a lot of videos. It's another way to not have harsh shadows on the face. All right, so we're gonna end this video where we started. On the balcony, it was sunrise when we started, it's sunset now, it's been quite a day. We went through, Phew. yeah, a bunch of, we went through as many, the sky went, the weather went through as many scenarios as we did. Uh, and that's a, another thing that photographers need to be able to do is adapt really quick to the situation at hand. Anyway, right now we're using bed sheets, the cheap, typical bed sheet scenario, which is a really good, cheap way to do some soft lighting. How many thread count are you supposed to The apply? lower the thread count, the better. Oh. The cheaper the bed sheet, the better, because you don't want it really thick because you want the light to kind of diffuse through it. Oh, the more thread count, the thicker it is. Is that what that yeah, means? Yeah, it's denser. Yeah. I never knew that. It's more threads. Never knew that. You're a woman. You should know these things. <laughs> anyway, so uh, we hope you enjoyed this. We hope you're entertained. You learned some stuff. I learned some something. <laughs> and um, you never know. 
Thank you, Amor. Hopefully next week. Yeah, it's cold out. Anyway, so next week, uh, something new, exciting, different. Who knows what it is? We'll find out. See you then. See you next week. Have a good week until then. And we'll- Bye. Bye. Let's look at the sunset. Oh, my God. Just in time. <laughs> Pink. Pink. <laughs>